Hey guys, okay, welcome back to Loving Yourself with Sarah. I'm Sarah, your coach in charge. Okay, guys, so this week I've decided to do something fun, which is pick a card. Okay, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen my previous pick a card on which fairy tale character or personality are you. If you haven't seen that video, please do go and watch that video, guys. It's really fun. Okay, so today's this week's pick a card is about which type personality or characteristics of future partner are you attracted to the most okay so what kind of person are you attracted to the most what what are the characteristics that they carry what are their personality types like okay so we'll be looking into that aspect of card reading as well as that i'll be introducing to you guys my magic pendulum okay which is going to help us reveal for each of the chosen group i'll be uh, investigating on the type of eye color that your future partner might have and also how you will be personally meeting this future partner okay so I'll be using my magic pendulum to ask these questions for each group so don't miss it guys okay and for each pick a card group once you have selected the group please go down to the timestamp provided in the comments section below okay so having said that Without wasting any more of, of your time, let's jump into this week's Pick a Card. Okay guys, so I'm back with a Pick a Card. Okay, so right here you can see three groups. Okay, the first group is represented by the symbol of a horse. The second group is represented by the symbol of a rabbit. And the third group, a dog. Okay, so you can see the horse, rabbit, and dog. Group one, group two, and group three. Go ahead and pick a group, guys. If you want to meditate on the deck, you can pause the video and meditate first. And please choose one group. Once you have chosen, you can directly go to the timestamp I provide in the comment section below to go to that group's reading. Okay, so with then let's move on with the first group. Okay, group one, let's find out what is the eye color of your future partner, okay? I have black, brown, green or blue, hazel and gray right here, okay? So let's see what is the eye color for the future partner of those in group one. Okay, guys, I'm getting a feeling that it could be black or gray because it was moving right here. Okay, so high possibility of you guys meeting someone with a black or gray eye color. Okay, okay, group one, let's find out how will you meet your future partner. Okay, so could it be through a friend, through job, purely accidental? through family members or through any form of occasion okay so let's find out group one okay how will the people in group one meet their future partner okay so I have a feeling it could be because it, it was standing right here, it was moving between these two, so it could be through a friend or through job, but I think high chances of you meeting your future partner through a friend, okay? Okay, group one, if you choose the group which has the symbol of a horse on it, so these are your cards, let's see what the card has in store for you guys. Okay, so you have nine of cups, nine of pentacles, okay, five of wands, Okay, your three tarot cards, big picture and temptation. Okay, so straight away, the message that I'm getting is that number nine is very prominent because you have nine of cups and nine of pentacles here. So this could be a number related to your future partner or the date you're going to meet that person or anything to do with that person that is related to number nine here okay because i can see it's standing out very obviously in this reading so you have nine of cups and nine of pentacles okay guys so what i'm seeing is that you're mostly attracted to a person who is involved in a career or job which is related to arts and music okay I'm seeing maybe someone who is an artist or a singer or a music composer 
or even uh, someone who does designing, like fashion designer or interior designers, I can see a kind of personality which is very much attracted into arts and music because this is this kind of person are those who do things because they love to do so okay they see beauty in everything that they do okay they admire beauty a lot okay so you can see that a lot in the kind of job that they do so the kind of partner that you're attracted to are mostly related in these fields okay that's what i'm getting and with this nine of pentacles I can see that your future partner could be someone who's financially independent, okay? They are someone who is very hardworking, okay? Uh, at the same time, they are getting the reward for their hard work, okay? I can see that abundance is coming their way. They could be financially independent at the moment you meet them, or they might be in the way of reaching there. So you are mostly attracted to that kind of person, okay? They're very content in what they do, and they do what they love to do, okay? So that's what I'm getting with these two cards right here. But with this five of wands, I have to tell you guys that this person, okay, might be someone who do not really express what he feels or do not really act in terms of what he actually really feels about you, okay, in a relationship especially. So, because this five of wands right here is a card of mixed messages. Like I've said, this person does everything because of love, okay? He or she does whatever he or she wants to do in their life because of love. They don't do anything out of greed or jealousy or any other selfishness. They do out of love. But the problem is, like I've said, they're very hardworking. So there are times when they tend to choose their career more than relationship. So you might get, sometimes you might get a mixed message from them that they don't care about this relationship or they don't involve, they are not very much involved in relationship as much as you are, okay? And having said that, this five of wands, okay, it's, it's in blue color, which is reflecting on the fifth chakra, which is throat chakra, guys. Throat chakra is about self-expression. Now, like I said, this person, okay, they really love you. They, they really do love you. But the problem is because of their career and uh, because of their, their being very hardworking, they tend to sometimes give you this message like you are not as much important to them as their work is, okay? But don't, don't get caught up in that feeling, guys. They really love you. But at times, you need to remind them of that, that they need to express their love at the right time for the right reasons and not take you for granted, okay? But I can rest assure you guys, this person totally love you guys, okay? They do everything from the heart, guys, so don't worry about that. And with this big picture right here, I can tell you this person that you're going to be in relationship with, that you're going to be attracted to, is a problem solver, okay? This person is someone who doesn't like to get into confrontation, okay? When there's chaotic situation coming in, this person knows how to analyze the situation and he or she tend to move out of that situation and observe what's going on, okay? They don't straight away jump into conclusion or, you know, make the situation even worse, okay? So you guys are attracted to this kind of person that knows how to handle situation at hand, okay? So in, when it comes to relationship, you know that there will be a lot of confrontations going on. You need to really understand each other, okay? And when there's an issue, you don't have to be afraid because this person is going to be a very helpful person in that situation. They're going to be a very good analyzer, a very good problem solver. You can trust them when there's, there's any issue at stake. Okay, they just know how to help you to handle that, okay? So you can trust them in that, okay? So that's what I'm seeing. And with this card, I have a feeling this person, okay, uh, might carry certain physical f uh, appearances that you might be very strongly attracted to because they're someone who admire beauty. And I'm getting a sense that this person is someone who knows how to take care of their physical appearances, the way they present themselves in terms of styles or the way they dress up, everything. They know how to do it, okay, top to toe. So I have a feeling you might be attracted to this person because of their physical appearance. But with that physical appearance, they do have good criteria inside them, guys. So they're someone who do everything because of their love, okay? They love what they do and they do what they love, okay? That's the overall picture that I'm getting for these people, okay? And again, temptation, guys. 
Now I'm getting two messages for this temptation card right here. Okay, one is the thing that I feel because of this person entering your life, you might be tempted to, you know, give away on all the things that matters to you. Maybe you will plan to leave your job and just follow this person because of your love for this particular person because of the criteria that he or she has. But I'm, I'm warning you guys, don't get tempted because you still need to take care of your life, okay? And regarding this partner that you're, you're looking for, okay, this partner would always be tempted to put your relationship in the second place, okay? They are very much hardworking, like, like I've said previously, okay? They tend to choose their career first, okay? But like I said, it doesn't mean they don't, they take you for granted, they really love you, but most of the time they're tempted to go towards their career more than you, okay? So th these are the things you need to pay attention when it comes to a relationship, but overall, this is what I'm getting for you guys in group one, so the kind of person that you're gonna be with, okay? So I hope you guys have gotten the information that you needed, okay? So that's all I have for you guys, group one. Okay, group two, let's use my magic pendulum to find out what is the eye color of your future partner, okay? So I have black, brown, gray, hazel, and green or blue right here, okay? So what is the eye color of the future partner of those in group two? Okay, guys, I think the eye color of your future partner is gray, okay? Okay, group two, let's find out how you will meet your future partner. So could it be purely accidental through a family member, through career or job, through some kind of occasion or through a friend, okay? So how would the people in group two meet their future partner? Okay, you guys could be meeting your future partner purely accidental, guys. So I think you won't even have a clue when you're going to meet your partner, but it will happen, don't worry. Okay, group two, if you have chosen the group which has the symbol of a rabbit on it, okay, so group two, these are your readings. Okay, guys, so you have Hierophant, okay. You have Five of Cups, okay, Shadow Treasures, The Chariot, okay, and Soulmate, okay. Okay, guys, so before I, I talk about the whole thing, let me just uh, tell you guys that, okay, in this reading, you have two cards from the Major Arcana, guys. Okay, so this, this means that the person that you're looking for, okay, has this characteristics or personality that is going to be an overarching theme in their life, which means this is going to be there with them forever, okay? It, it's not going to change, okay, because it's, it's something that they, maybe they're born with or they have been seeing this pattern in their life, okay? It's an overarching theme that rules their life, okay? So with that, let's jump in. Okay, so... First of all, I want to talk about this Hierophant, okay? Now, the Hierophant card, okay, you can see it's a sixth chakra card, okay? Sixth chakra card is basically talking about family of origin. So with this card, the feeling I'm getting is that the person that you're looking for in a relationship or the one that you're attracted most could be carrying some sort of psychic ability with them, okay? So it could be a clairvoyance, okay? Or uh, they could be working as a medium or they could even be in a job, okay, that involves them to use um, most of their intuition, okay? They could be counselors, okay, doing those kind of jobs that allows them to use their intuition most of the time, okay? This person might be or might not be aware of their psychic ability at the moment, okay? But they're very much born with that psychic ability. And if you are attracted to this kind of person, 
they're going to be able to help you with a lot of things in terms of relationship with their ability okay so they have that ability in one and could it could also possibly mean that you might be carrying some kind of ability just like them okay that uh, might be the reason of you getting attracted to this person okay so that is one of the thing i'm getting for these people now uh, the second major arcana is the chariot okay the chariot is basically uh, if you see there's this two signs here okay now this is a very optimistic card in this deck okay because it, it simply means that you're always put in a crossroad where you have two choices but that doesn't mean you have to choose one and the other one is could be good or bad okay it just simply means both are inviting but it's up to you you need to ask your heart which one seems more important to you or which one that you truly desire at the moment okay so that is what this card means okay so maybe the person that you're attracted to uh, might be still thinking about being in a relationship or not okay or maybe they don't see they don't give in into relationship yet because they are thinking about a lot of other things that matters in their life at the moment okay but it's it doesn't mean they they don't want to be in a relationship with you it's just that they're not thinking about it at the moment okay so you won't get a direct yes uh, from them at the moment if you like someone or if you're planning to start a relationship it just simply means that they are still thinking about a lot of things okay so you need to give them that time okay and with this card five of cups right here guys i'm telling you that i can see you guys actually like this person and you want to keep your identity a secret okay you want to be a secret admirer you don't want them to know about it okay because uh, what i can see is you see this person is in hood okay wearing hood okay so this is basically referring to image of a person who's trying to hide his or her identity okay so you might be liking someone in secret and you don't want that person to know that you actually like him or her okay now what i'm getting from this card now is that it's okay to do that okay right now it's safe for you to not reveal anything because Things are not very clear at the moment for you. If you see that three cups here that has fallen down and two still standing, okay? You are getting some kind of disappointment in, in terms of relationship right now, in terms of the person that you like, okay? But this card is just telling you that the other person is very unclear, okay? The personality that you're attracted to could also be just like you guys, okay? So what I'm getting is, this person could also like you in secret, okay? They might, they might be, uh, you know, uh, stalking you, okay, stalking is not a good thing, but they might be doing that, okay, guys? So I'm not recommending stalking, guys. But anyway, um, they're just liking you in secret, okay? They don't wanna tell you how they feel, okay? And you might also be getting some sign from this person. I have a feeling you already know this person, okay? So this person might be giving signs that, you know, they like you. But for now, the advice I can give you guys is that don't jump into conclusion, okay? Uh, because things are not getting clear at the moment. Things are quite um, hazy at the moment. So don't jump into any conclusion. Let it be, okay? Just, just let it go on for some time and then you will get more clarity on what you can do with this person, okay? So, but I have a feeling this is something that a characteristic that the person will carry on with him or her okay uh, he him uh, he or she likes to do things in secretively okay they don't like to use the identity okay they like to keep their feelings undercover okay that's the kind of person that you are attracted to the most okay and the next thing I'm getting is guys shadow treasures this card right here okay this card simply tells you that this person that you're attracted to might be carrying some kind of hidden aspects of him or herself which means they have this shadow aspect of themselves that they want to keep it undercover that they don't want to deal with okay it could simply mean something from the past that the person is still dwelling within okay so maybe you will see this kind of traits in that person you're attracted to this type of personality okay someone who who has this uh dark secrets i wouldn't say dark secret as in negative but just that maybe uh, a childhood past that the person doesn't want to reveal okay something something to do with the past or childhood issues that he or she is not willing to talk about okay so the kind of personality that you're attracted to the most will have these traits in them okay so having said that 
I have this soulmate card right here, guys. And with this card, I can tell you that you guys were actually meant to be together, okay? You guys are compatible. You, when both of you are together, you will get a lot of comments that you look good together, you look nice together, okay? That is a very common uh, comment that you're gonna get, okay? Because with this card right here, I can see a romantic love relationship is in the card for you, okay? Uh, if you're already in a relationship, it might just take a romantic turn or if you're looking to start a relationship, this card is indicating it's happening very soon, guys. So uh, these are the personalities or characteristics that you'll be attracted to most in a relationship, guys. So that's all I have for you guys for group two. Okay, group three, let's ask my magic pendulum, what is the eye color of your future partner, okay? So I have black, green, or blue, brown, gray, and hazel right here. Okay, so what is the eye color of the future partner of those in group three? Black. Okay, so group three, your future partner might be having eye color of black. Okay, group three, let's find out how you will meet your future partner. Could it be through a family, through friend, occasion, accidental, or through a job or career, okay? So how would the people in group three meet their future partner? Okay, guys, so high chances of you guys meeting your future partner through a family member, okay? Okay, group three, if you choose the group which has the symbol of dog on it, in it, let's see what the card has in store for you guys. Okay, so you guys have the lovers, seven of coins or seven of pentacles, the chariot, clear aura, have faith. Okay, guys, um, so this card have faith right here. I'm getting the feeling that most of you are still single and you're still questioning whether you will even meet anyone or if that person would ever exist out there. With this card, I'm telling you guys, don't get frustrated, don't get disappointed. There is someone out there for you guys, so don't worry. He's coming, he or she is coming for you guys, so don't worry, guys, have faith, okay? That's the first message I'm getting. And the reason I'm saying this, okay, this is the reading for the personality characteristics of your future partner, okay? Have faith card is just indicating that your future partner actually has a lot of faith in this relationship, okay? He or she is coming to meet you, okay? They believe in this relationship and they're going to look for you, so don't worry, guys, okay? Because this reading I'm getting from their energy, okay? So with that, let's move in with other cards, okay? You have... Again, like I said in my reading for group two, okay, this group also has two major arcana right here, okay? So this is going to be an overarching theme in that person's characteristics or personality. Okay, so with the lover's cards here, I can tell you that this person has very much uh, going to use love in everything, okay? They do things with love and love is something that is very important to them. And they might be in a profession where they use a lot of love in it, okay? They work out of love, okay, they could be doing surveys, they could be healers, they could be in medical professions, they could be something where you need a lot of love and support, okay, they, they might be coming from that field, okay, they might be uh, psychologists or counselors, okay, they, they guide people to, you know, uh, decide how to go on with their life when, you know, it hits them back, so that kind of things. So they use a lot of love and support in their life and they, use, they will normally be in the field that requires them to use that, okay, on a daily basis to work with people. So that's the feeling I'm getting for these people, okay. So your future partner could be someone who, you know, who is never lack of love, who is so full of love, okay, for himself, for herself and also for others, okay. Now with the chariot, like in the previous group, they had the chariot as well, okay? So again, this person might not be giving you a definite yes in terms of relationships straight away because he or she is thinking about a lot of things at the moment. 
But one thing I'm getting is that this person is very, very determined because like I said, he or she has a lot of faith in this relationship. They believe that you are the one for them and they'll be coming for you. Okay, so don't worry about that. They are definitely coming for you. And they're determined just that they have a lot of other things to take care of before they come and meet you. They want to meet you at the right time for the right reasons. Okay, guys, so I'm pretty sure they will come looking for you. So don't be frustrated. Have faith, guys. And with the seven of pentacles, I can see this person that you're attracted to, uh, okay, has expanded in terms of spiritual terms, okay? Because with the seven of pentacles, I'm getting a feeling, okay, and it's a seventh chakra card, okay? It's about higher consciousness, okay? This person, okay, they are like, uh, I could say they can manifest wealth easily in their life. There's someone who manifests wealth easily in their life. They could be someone who uses law of attraction uh, easily okay it just works for them okay so this person is someone who is who has expanded in terms of spiritual knowledge okay and with seven of pentacles I can see financial independence there okay wealth do flow for them okay now uh, with this clear aura card right here I get a feeling like I've said previously okay they use a lot of love and with this card right here I, I have a feeling that this person that you're attracted to could be an empath or highly sensitive person okay he or she could be picking up on people's energy okay so uh it's important for you to understand that uh, and i have a feeling that you guys who picked this group also are mostly uh, highly sensitive or empaths because i have a feeling you guys are attracted because of that okay so you guys could be empath or highly sensitive where you pick up on people's energy you guys are very much heart chakra people okay so with this card, I'm getting the message that you tend to pick up energy along with the kind of personality that you're attracted to, your future partner, okay, you, you and your future partner might be picking up unwanted energies from the surrounding, okay, so this card is telling you guys that it's, it's important to keep your aura clean, okay, it's important to stay away from negative uh, places or people who just brings in a lot of negative energies, okay? The energy vampires, we call them, okay? They just drain you off, they exhaust you off, okay? So try to stay away from this kind of people because I have a feeling that your partner and you, you guys are in a field where you you have to use a lot of your energy when you talk to people. You tend to take that energy in, okay? In terms of carrier or even family, okay? So both of you, it's important for you to keep your aura clean, okay? So with that, I think that's all I have for you guys. Group three, okay? So yeah, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you for watching, guys.